Okay, let's take up the last page of the investigation. Um, just going to go over a couple things that we should watch out for every time we look at a table of values and deciding whether it's linear or nonlinear. Um, after doing the investigation, you should have seen that we should always, always check the X column. Um, make sure that the X column goes up by the same number every time and does not skip any numbers. Okay, so it's got to be in order or it could decrease, but it needs to be in order and not skip. So, uh, for example, like this one is okay because it's, it's going up one, up one, up one, up one. That's okay. So we're going to take those and whatever the y values are, are, we'll calculate the first differences. So I'm going to take negative 4. I'm going to subtract negative 7. That's negative 4 plus 7. That's 3. Um, again, here we'll do this one. Negative 1 and then subtract. Negative 4 is 3. 2, subtract. Negative 1, 3. 5, subtract 2. Three. So we've got these were all going up by the same number. We've calculated that these are really all going up by three. Also, that's what's going on here, right? We make sure that these go up by the same number. These go up by the same number. It's linear. All right, let's look at B. Uh, double check this. We've got six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. They're all going up by the same number. Let's check it out here. We've got negative one, subtract negative four. So that's negative one plus four. That's three. Uh, we got 0, subtract, negative 1. 0, subtract, negative 1. That's 1. I'm going to stop. Notice these aren't the same. These were going up by the same number every time. They went up by 1, 1, 1, 1. That's okay. That's good. These are not the same. I'm going to stop. I don't need to continue. I know it's nonlinear. They have to go up by the same number every time to be linear. All right, let's continue down and look at C and D. Look at C. I got X column. Check the X column. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. That's good. So let's do the first differences. 4.5, subtract 1.5. That's 2. Sorry, that's 3. 7.5, subtract 4.5. 3. 10.5, subtract 7.5. 3. 13.5, subtract 10.5, 3. All of them the same. These were all going up the same number, linear. All right, let's check this one out. We've got 2, and then it goes up 2, and then down 3. So this is not in the right order. Um, let's check that we could reorder it. We can go, could we go 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Yep, they're all there. So we're going to reorder this. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the sheet. I've got some blank ones down there. We're going to reorder Okay, so I've got them on a separate page, the blank ones. So here's the bottom of the page. I saw that it went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I gotta go grab and match the number. So 0, wait, it was 0, 9, and then 1, 7. So let me throw that in there. So we got 0, 9, 1, 7. Let's go back and check. 2, 5. 3, 3, 4, 1. 2, 5, 3, 3, 4, 1. So now they're going up by the same number every time. We didn't skip any. Now we can do the first differences and get an accurate result. 7 subtract 9, negative 2. 5 subtract 7, negative 2. 3 subtract 5, negative 2. 1 subtract 3, negative 2. Linear. So let's go back here and circle the right one, right? So there's no point in doing this first difference here because they're not in the right area, but this is a linear graph. Two more. Let's look at E. E goes zero, then up two, and then up two, and then up one, and then up one. So what we have to do is consider that. It's going up, uh, it goes up two, up two, and then one, one. So let's kind of look at what happens when we go up 2, up 4, like 2, 4, and then well, let's kind of disregard this for a minute and see what, like 2, 4, 6, because that would be in order, 0, 2, 4, 6. Let's look at the differences between those. So this one, this subtract that is negative 4. 20 subtract 24 is negative 4. And then let's do 12 subtract 20, right? If I look at these two, 12 subtract 20 is negative 8. Okay, so these the, the order that would be here is 2, 4, 6, 
It's every time it goes up two, it goes up four. But when it went up from four to six, it went up eight. So this is nonlinear. Okay, so make sure that you've circled nonlinear for number E, letter E. Okay. All right, let's check this one out, the last one. Um, so two, then seven, I was up five, then back down. So let's reorder this. Let's make sure we can do it. We got zero, one, two, and then we've got four, and then seven. So let's go zero, one, two, and then maybe we can see about oh, filling in like three and see what we got. So it's right underneath. So let's put zero, zero, let's go one, two, let's go two four okay and if it's linear then the pattern has to continue so let's just check what what the first differences are right now is this is going up by ones this goes two so that's two two and then notice if we put a three here we should get up two. we should get a six if I put a four here I should get eight so let's go back and check this table here Notice four, I do get eight. Um, so if I can went five, I need to verify that seven, I get 14. If that's gonna be right. So I got five, six, seven. If I go up two, I get 10. If I go up two, I get 12. And if I go up two, I get 14. And that matches all of the points in that table up there. We've included them, we've rewritten them, we've filled in values so that it goes up by the same number every time. And we've seen that it going up two every time. So if this one was linear, go back and check those. Okay, so that's uh, me taking up that last page of the investigation. Uh, from here, you're going to move on and um, look at the next part underneath.